Hey guys, this short yoga routine is to prevent you from getting a rounded or hunched back if you're working at a computer all day. Um, it'll take about three to five minutes. Um, so if you're feeling tight around your upper back and neck after a day at the computer, um, then get down on the floor and do these three exercises. First one, have a lie on your tummy. Put your arms in a goal pose position so your elbows are in line with your shoulders and there's a 90 degree bend in your elbow. Then we're going to take the left hand and bring it under your left shoulder, bend the left knee and press through that left hand as you lift the left leg and roll over to the right and you'll feel the stretch through the front of your right shoulder. Then let the leg come back, bring that hand back into position. Take the right hand under your right shoulder, then the right knee, and then roll over to the left. And feel the stretch in the left shoulder. Bring it back to the center and repeat. We'll just do three rounds. Taking a nice deep breath in once you get into the stretch and breathe out to let your body rest into the stretch. Then bring your forearms parallel to each other, elbows underneath your shoulders, and you can see your um, index finger is pointed to the top of the mat. Just rest the hands and think about your breastbone lifting up to look straight ahead. Think about bringing the back of your head back towards the wall behind you. And you're here for three breaths, so just notice how your chest and your upper back feels in this position. It's hard for it to stay in it. It feels a bit tight. As you breathe in, you'll feel a bit of a stretch, and as you breathe out, just let your body rest and relax into the ground. And then last um, exercise in this little flow, and um, hands and feet are reaching away from each other. You're gonna slide your left elbow towards your left knee, and then take your right hand and thread it through so it's reaching to the left and you're resting on your right shoulder. So get into that position first of all and then keep that left arm bent as you lift the left arm up and you open up the chest. Just go as far as you comfortably can. You do not need to pin your leg down to the ground. It can lift if you feel a little tight. Then reach that left arm and left leg long Roll back onto your tummy and we'll do it on the other side. So reach your right elbow towards your right knee, thread the left arm through and then open up the chest. And just notice if there's a difference between sides. Take two nice breath cycles here. So you're just breathing in through the nose, down into that rib cage, and then breathing out through your nose or mouth. Reach the right arm and the right leg long, roll back onto your tummy, and then repeat it one more time. So left elbow and left knee come towards each other. The right arm reaches through palm facing up and you're resting on the right shoulder. And then open up that left side of your chest. Your right hand can go to your leg if you like. You're not pinning it down, you can just add to the stretch by giving it a little bit of pressure at the end if that's comfortable. And then reach with the left arm, left leg, back onto the tummy, and let's go to the other side. Two breath cycles here. If it's sore on your shoulder, you can just put your hand on your chest to take the pressure off your shoulder. And then reach with the arm with the leg, and we're just going to come back into that sphinx pose one last time. So get the forearms parallel, elbows underneath your shoulders, and then lift the breastbone, lift your gaze. And you're here for just three breath cycles. Thinking about every time you breathe in, opening up nice and wide across the front of the collarbones and chest. And as you breathe out, just letting your belly kind of relax and rest into the mat. all finished your short yoga practice 
to prevent you getting a hunched back. 